Division is a repeated subtraction. Yes? What page number? Page number? Page number 89. Page number 89. Can you all see the board? Okay. Yes. So, in the last class, we have discussed regarding division. Can you tell me, children, how will you define division? What do you understand by the word division? Yes, it is repeated subtraction. Yes, very good. Repeated subtraction in the last class we have seen, such as the number. Now, if you want to divide 20 by 2, okay? If you want to divide 20, how many times you can give, how many times you can subtract it? Now, see here, if you are dividing it by 2, the number 20, if you want to divide it by 2, 4, 5, example, okay? Here, 20 will be known as... What is 20? Dividend. It is dividend. What, how can you define dividend children? The number that has to be divided is known as dividend. By what number you are going to divide it, that number will be known as? Dividend. Very good. The number will be known as dividend. Now, for example, I am taking number 4 to divide 20, that 4 will be known as divisor. Okay, what the answer you get after dividing 20 by 4, that number will be known as quotient. Very good. Now tell me if you divide 20, if you divide 20 by 4, what answer do you get? Yes, it is 5. Very good. Okay, the answer is 5. Yes, the answer 5 will be known as quotient. Yes, I hope you remember these terms what we have discussed in the last class. Okay, the number that has to be divided will be known as dividend. By what number you are dividing will be known as divisor. Okay, next, what answer you get after dividing 20 by 4, the answer will be known as quotient. Is it clear to everyone? Is it clear to everyone? Any doubt in the last class? No. Okay, so today, yeah, today we will be looking after rules of division. Okay, today we will be looking after Rules of division. Okay, so the page number 89, short textbook. Page number 89, take pencil in your hand, everyone, and open to page number 89. Okay, so the first rule by dividing any number, we have to follow certain rules. What are those rules? We will see. We will see today. Dividing by one. Dividing by one. Okay. The first rule: dividing by one. When we divide any number by one, the answer will be the same number. Okay. Now. Okay. Now, if I am going to divide number twenty-two. Okay, if I want to divide number 22 by 1. So, I will be writing it as 22 divided by 1. Okay, tell me children, this is 22 will be known as divided. 1 is a divisor. Very good, divisor. What answer you get, what answer you get will be known as quotient. Okay, now tell me here, when you divide 22 by 1, what is the answer? Yes, it is 22 only. Yes, very good. So remember, we will take one more example such as 14. If I am taking number 14 and dividing it by 1, what answer do I get? 14. Very 
very good. Okay. Yes. For example, if I am having fourteen, if I am having fourteen pencils and I want to distribute among many children, but all are absent and only one student has come. Okay. Then I will be giving all fourteen to only one child. So one child will be getting all fourteen pencils. The children who will come next day, they won't be getting anything. Okay, the person who will come only on that day, I will be giving the pencils. I will see that only one student has come to this class, so all fourteen pencils will go to only one child. Yes or no? It is like we are having fourteen pencils, and only one child is there, so we will be giving all fourteen pencils to only one child. Is it clear? Dividend. Devices and the answer is portion. Okay, so remember the rule of division. First one says that dividing any number by one, the answer will be the number itself. Okay, see the way I am telling it. Dividing any number by one, the answer will be the number itself. Is it clear to everyone? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, yes. Now we will look after the second rule. Dividing zero by a number. The second rule: dividing zero by a number. Okay. Now we will take some examples. When we divide zero by any number, it gives the quotient. The quotient means answer will be. Zero only. Okay, it is like you are dividing zero by by any number. You can take any number. The answer is what will be the answer? Zero, zero only. Zero. Okay, it is like zero. Now dividend is zero. Divisor is twelve. Yes, children, please mute. Please mute. Okay. Now it is like dividend is zero. Dividend is zero and divisor is twelve. Okay. Is it possible to divide when I don't have anything? Okay. It is like today is my birthday. Okay. And twelve friends are coming to me and they are asking me chocolates. Yes. Okay. So it is like I'm, my birthday is there today, and I don't have any chocolates. Any chocolates I don't have. So I will tell that I have zero chocolates. I don't have anything. But twelve friends will come and ask me chocolates. Can I give them anything? But I don't have anything. Any chocolates with me? Is it possible? No. Okay. So it is like you don't have anything to divide. And but the divisor is available. Okay, it is like you don't have anything, so the answer will be zero only. Divide zero by any number, the answer will be zero only. Is it clear, Dorinal? The second rule says that when you divide zero by any number, the answer, that is the quotient, will be zero. Okay. The second rule is it clear to everyone? Next one. Yes. Next one. Dividing, dividing a number by itself. The third rule says that dividing a number by itself. Okay, now take any number and divide it by the same number. What answer do you get, children? Zero. 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 Is it zero? One. Yes. Why will you have it to be zero? Now see here. I have twenty-one as dividend. Okay, and divisor is also twenty-one. In twenty one table, when do you get twenty one? Now twenty one one zero. Yes or no? Twenty one one zero. Twenty one. Yes. Remember when this zero? It means that you can divide twenty one by twenty one by one. One number. Twenty one into one is twenty one. Yes or no? If I take one more number. Yes. 
will take another number. You take eight and divide it by eight. What is the answer? One. 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 The answer is one because eight ones are is eight. Yes or no? In eight table, where do we get eight? It is by multiplying by one. Yes. So eight ones are is eight. So the answer is one. You have to remember the rules of division. The first rule was dividing by one. Any number you divide it by one, the answer will be the same number what you are going to take. Okay. The second rule was dividing zero by any number. When you divide zero by any number, the answer will be zero. It is like you don't have anything that is zero. But you are dividing it by any number, the answer will be zero. Okay. The third rule, dividing a number by itself. Itself means take the same number for dividend and divisor. The answer will be one, not zero. Is it clear? Don't get confused. All the three rules today we have to learn after the class. Okay. Yes. Now, dividing a number by itself, producing the children, since division is also repeated subtraction, see, 21, you can subtract again 21. How many times you can subtract like this? Yes, it is only one time. Okay? 21 and 21, from each one of them, you can subtract only one time. Yes or no? Division is a repeated subtraction. If we are taking 21, if we are taking 21, then we can subtract it only one time. Okay? So our answer is 1. Okay? Next, 8 divided by 8. If you take 8 and 8, 8 minus 8, dividend and quotient, uh, divisor. Okay? Yes. How many times we can subtract? Only one time. Yes, so here 8 minus 8, it is only 1 time. So the answer is 1. Okay, yes. So then pencils in your hand, children, we will solve the exercise 6.2. Page number 89, exercise 6.2. Yes, now quickly you will have to answer me. Okay. The first question, write the portion for each of the following. I will write here, exercise 6.2. First one, write the portion. Write the portion. The first one is 90 divided by 1. 90. Yes. Why it is 90? We have seen. Yes, we have seen we need rules of division. Any number divided by 1 will be quotient same number that is 90. Okay. Second one 716 divided by 1. What is the answer? Very Yes, it is 716. Okay, next, C. 5120 divided by 1. Yes, 5120 divided by 1. 5120. Any number divided by 1 will be. The answer will be the same number itself. Okay? Next. D1. It is zero. Yes. Why it is zero? Yes. All dividend means zero. Correct. The answer is zero because dividend is zero. When dividend itself is zero, it has nothing to get divided. Let the divisor be any big number, no issues. 
the dividend is zero, so the answer itself will be zero. Okay. Next, children, E and F. What is the answer? Zero divided by two hundred and thirty-four. Yes, it is zero. Huh. Yes. Correct. Okay. Yes. Can you see here now? Have I given you? Yes. F zero divided by nine thousand six hundred and forty nine. Zero. Yes. The answer is zero. Okay. Next. Now tell me, children, G one forty five divided by twenty five. It is one. Very good. Why it is one? Because both dividend and divisor both are same numbers, so it can be divided by one. One. Yes. Next. Yeah. Four fifty divided by four fifty. Yes, it is one. The last one, nine hundred and sixty-one divided by nine hundred and sixty-one. One. Very good. Nine hundred and sixty-one divided by nine hundred and sixty-one is one. Four fifty divided by four fifty is also one. Okay. So I hope the rules of division is very. Much understood to everyone, and hence, now, yes, and hence you can solve the exercise very clearly. Okay, there shouldn't be any doubt. See here, forty-five divided by forty-five, and both the numbers are same. The answer will be one. If zero is there at the dividend side, and we are dividing it by any big number, the answer will be zero. Okay, next. Bigger number that is dividend is very big number, but we are dividing it by only one. Okay, the answer will be the dividend whatever is there, five thousand one hundred twenty. The same answer will be there for the portion also. Okay, next. Yeah, children, page number eighty nine. We have given here. Remember, can you see this box? Yes, ma'am. Remember, okay. See here, ma'am. There are some statements which are meaningless. Okay. See here, when we have here zero divided by nine nine thousand six hundred and forty nine, then we are writing it as zero. Okay. But if you interchange the numbers, see here. If we interchange the numbers, we cannot divide any number by zero. See the statement; it is very understood. We cannot divide any number. Now, if you are taking number thirty, for example, and you are dividing it by zero, okay? Dividend is now number. Divisor is zero. This statement does not exist. Such statements are meaningless. What they are? They are meaningless. Okay? You cannot divide any number by zero. Is it clear, everyone? Twenty-one divided it by zero. Okay? It is like I have twenty-one books and I want to distribute them. But to distribute, there are no people. I don't have any people near me to distribute. Is it possible? Can I distribute in the air? No. It is like you have twenty-one rows, and there are no people to whom I should distribute. So such statements are meaningless. You have to understand the difference. Thirteen divided by zero. Such statements are meaningless. But remember, zero divided 
zero. Okay, but if they interchange the position of the numbers, then you have to be very cautious. Okay, see that if such questions are given, write down that this statement is meaningless. Okay, always it is zero divided by thirteen, zero divided by fourteen, zero divided by fifteen, like this. Okay, then only you can write the answer as zero. Is it clear to everyone? Yes, yes ma'am. Oh, yes. So the next question, page number ninety nine zero. First question, take pencil, take pen. Over to page number ninety. Fill in the blanks. Yes. Seven thousand six hundred and fifty-four divided by seven thousand six hundred and fifty-four. What is the answer? Huh. One. Very good. Seven thousand six hundred and fifty-four divided by seven thousand six hundred and fifty-four. The answer is yes. You have done. It. Very good. Very good. Okay. Yes, those who have not done or those who have done also, please pay attention. Dividing by same number, okay? Dividing a number by itself. Yes, very good. Okay. See so here, the answer is one. Okay. Next one. Yes, children, B one. Dividing dash divided by one is equal to three hundred and thirty. What is the answer? Three hundred thirty. Yes, three hundred thirty. Yes, the same number should be there. Then only it is possible. See, three hundred thirty. If you divide it by one, you will get it as three hundred thirty. Divide the number by one is the number itself. Okay. So the next one, see one. It is the same as first one. Yes or no? It is five thousand three hundred twenty divided by five thousand three hundred twenty. The answer will be one. Yes, very good. Okay. Now I will solve some random questions. The ones which are not same. Okay. Yes. Tell the children. D one dash divided by one is equal to eight hundred and seventy. What's the answer? Eight hundred and seventy. Okay, if you divide the number by one, you will be getting the same number back as a portion. Okay, next. Yes, G one. Children, G one dash dividing it by forty. It is equal to one. What is the answer? It is forty. Yes, dividing same number. Dividing the divisor is both the same. The answer will be one. Okay. So what is the answer here? Forty. Okay. So next one. Yeah. Tell me. I seven thousand eight hundred and ninety divided by what to get the answer as one? Yes. Yeah. Very good. So dividing. The number by itself, the answer will be one. So it is seven thousand eight hundred and ninety. Okay. Yes. The ones which we have not solved will be for homework. Okay. Those who have solved, please recheck once again. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Those are solved. Very good. Yes. Okay. Very good, children. Next one we will see regarding the remainder. Okay, can you tell me, children, what is a remainder? Till now, we have seen the division where in the remainder is zero. Yes or no? After solving, we used to get the remainder as zero. The Remainder. What we means after dividing the numbers, last is known as remainder. Okay. Now we have 
See here, for example, if we are dividing 14 apples among 14 apples among 3 children. Okay, there are 3 children and we want to divide how many apples? 14 apples. Okay, what we will see here? 3 divided it by 14. Okay, yes. Then the children, how can you divide? 14 by 3. In 3 is table, 14 should be here. Yes? Or not there? No, no, no. I am taking general one. 14 apples are there and you want to divide it from a 3 children. Tell me, what will be the answer? 3 3 5s are going to be 15 3 1s are 3 3 2s are 6 3 3s are 9 3 4s are 12 3 5s are going to be 15 See yes, 3 4s are is 12 3 5s are is 3 5s is 15 Ok We cannot take 3 5s are 15 Because here we have 14 and 3 5s are going to be 15 can you subtract 14 and 14 uh, from 15? Is it possible to subtract 15 from 14? No, it's not possible. So what we have to take the number which is previous to 3 fives of 15 will be more closer to divide 14 by 3. So in 3 stable, 3 fourths are 12. See here, 3 fourths are going to be 12. Yes or no? 4 minus 2. Two. Two. One minus one. Zero. Zero. Okay. Now, it means that, see here, each child will be getting four apples. The answer is what? Four. Okay. But, how many apples are still remaining? Two apples are still remaining. Okay. It is like... You cannot give all 14 apples equally to, yes, you cannot give all 14 apples equally to 3 children. Okay? You, you can give each one child 4-4. Four, four, okay? Each one child will be getting 4 apples. Such how many will become? 4 3 so will be 12. Out of 14, out of 14, you can give 12 apples equally to all children. But how many will remain still? Two apples will remain. So what remains after division will be known as? Will be known as remainder. Okay. So what is remainder? Remainder is the answer which you follow after repeated subtraction. Repeated subtraction means after division. What answer remains at the last? will be known as remainder. Is it clear? Such many examples will be there. Well, the remainder will be left over at the last. See here, 51. Okay? If 51 is a number, and you have to divide it by 7. Okay? What will you do? You will go nearer to this number. 51 nearer number in 7 stable. Tell the children 7 stable everyone. Because 49 number is 
less than 51. Yes or no? Which will you take? 7, 7, 49 you choose or 7, 8, 56 will you choose? 7, 7, 7, 7, 49. See here. 7 into 7, 49. Okay. Now subtract children. Can you subtract 1 and 9? Can you subtract 9 from 1? No. So what will you do here? 5 tens will now become as 4 tens. And 1 1 will now become as 11 ones. Okay? Now subtract 11 ones and 9 ones. How much will you get? 2. Very good. 2. 4 minus 4 is? 0. Zero. So tell me what is the remainder? 2. Yes. 2 is the? 2 is the remainder. Okay? Did you understand? You have 41 books and there are 7 children. You want to distribute all 51 books to 7 children. How many, how many you can distribute? To each one child you can give 7 books. Yes or no? But still, how many will remain at the last? Still, 2 books will remain at the last. You can distribute equally 7 books to each one child. Is it clear? You can distribute 7 books equally to all children. But still how many will remain at the last? 2 books will remain at the last. Which you cannot distribute equally to all 7 children. Is it clear? Yes, If there is any doubt, can we know? Yes. Now see here. Here the remainder is 2. Can you still divide it, children? Yes, ma'am. Can you still divide 2 by 7? Is it possible? You have to stop the, you have to stop the division when the remainder is smaller than the divisor. See here. We have the remainder as 2. Okay? What is the divisor? 7. 7 is our divisor. Divisor is 7. Remainder is? Remainder is how much? 2. Okay? 2 is our remainder. You have to stop the division when Remainder is remainder is smaller than smaller than divisor. You have to remember this children. This rule is very important. When will you understand after stop the division? It is understood when remainder value will be smaller than our divisor value. If here you are getting more than 7, then the division will still go on continue. Okay? Remainder should be less than our divisor. Then only we can stop our division process. Is it clear? Such one mark questions can come in the exam. These rules are only important for one mark questions. Okay? So you have to read the textbook very thoroughly. Don't think it is mathematics, only problem solving will be there. Only problem solving will be there. No. Okay? Yes. Children, please mute.